All right, coming up next, it's a middleweight matchup between the last style bender, Israel Adesanya, and George Rush St. Pierre. Misses there with the left. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And they are exchanging leather early. Several in the round. That one might have been the cleanest of the bunch. He turned his chin, made his chin touch his shoulder with that beautiful right. hook. He really got all of himself into that hook, pivoted off the right hand, big left hook lands. What a great punch. How about that chin? He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big ball with the punch land. Now he gets back to range. All right, he's been very clean with his hooks on the feet here tonight, and it's the way he set it up that has really impressed him. Yeah, it's very impressive to see him pop the jab, pop the right hand, just touch, 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 and then boom, sit down on that hook. He's gonna be trying to find it again. You can see him setting up his opponent, trying to get the hands to drop, so he can drop that hook over the top. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, straight right! Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Oh, beautiful hook! All right, so another swing and a miss, and I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you gotta find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually dole out some damage. Yeah, you gotta get out the space. Find places to rest and recover. Get it, get Find ways to just recover so that when you have that next explosion, it actually has some feeding to it. Well placed kick there by Adesanya. St. Pierre's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. There you go. Stay tight. Beautiful strike. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Good takedown defense by Israel. Just missed with the left there. Nice job at least staying upright on that. Just misses with that one. Pinpoint accuracy on the kick there by Adesanya. It's just hard to know what's coming, and there's no stop in this. I mean, there's no stop. There's no tell. He's just at a different level when you're standing on the feet with Israel Adesanya. He's the last style. He's a 
character. He's, he, he, he just has an itch, man. He's that guy that gets people to tune in. The right hand just misses. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. What? Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent where he is. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now, what does he do with the top of the coach? Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? Let's go fight. Strong defense there to block the shot. Well, you saw us reference in the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jump. Look at the whip action that comes from him for that kick. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangles. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling. Yo! Really good. Okay. Ooh. Huge didn't like that left hand. Oh! Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. Got to fit. So the strike lands, but my my children hit hard. <laughs> yeah, at this point, early in the fight, you saw his head snapping back. You can see the effect the punch he's taking. Now he may as well just smack him on the arm like, good job, guy. What a fight. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Oh! Holy smoke. Unbelievable. Jeff hurt him a little bit. Just missing on the uppercut there. Oh! Slips to avoid the right. Oh! Wow! And just like that, the fight is over! Oh, my goodness! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Pinpoint strike.